Hi everybody and welcome to my Sketch and Tune tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I want to show you and learn you how can you use Cinema 4D Sketch and Tune model. It's very very powerful model I think and it's easy to learn and it's too bad that Cinema 4D users don't uh, use it more often I think because it's a really nice effect and it can do our visualization a bit more different I think. Uh, first I really like this model and I'm very very proud that uh, Maxon still uses my picture that I made before many years and you can find it in uh, its uh, quick start model it's this one scene and in case you like it you can use it because uh, on archive of this tutorial you can find the project of the terrible old man house this one house Okay, I prepared a few scenes for you and you can find them on this archive as well and we will use them for uh, our demonstrations and we will use them for our simulations. Okay, it's the first of them, it's a very very simple scene that has two states. This one is the final state and here's the starting state. But uh, they are different project as well. It's this one car project. It's uh, a toy of my son of course. And we will use uh, this one object for demonstration how can we how can we simulate this technical technical style. And the cell style of simple lines and this simple cell effect and uh, this one state shows uh, how can we combine more shaders together we will combine hedge shader and cell shader it's the main it's the main topic of our tutorial i hope we, we will be able to simulate this result as well it's a bit more complex but you can say that it's still the same in case you will find a way how can you use uh, Cinema 4D Sketch and Tune model you will be able to create this one scene uh, with no problem I think. We will demonstrate other effects as well for example spot shader and we will show arch shader as well. Okay let's start. Open uh, the start scene please. Oh I must say I must, I, I must say a uh, project from release 13. Okay open the project start. Okay, that's better. Uh, this project uh, contains few simple objects only, the camera, light, flow and few primitives. That's all. We must show and learn uh, where is uh, Sketch and Tool module placed in Cinema 4D. Okay, create a new one material. Create shader sketch material. This command has two effects. We have created this one material. Yes, it's very specific material that uh, contrasts outlines of our objects. But uh, the second effect is more important. It's most important effect because it has added this one effect to our render settings. And this one small option activates sketch and tune effect. Uh, on our scene. Oh, project. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can see. You can add it manually as well. Sketch and tune. You can see that object has uh, an outline already. It's because the sketch and tune effect has few tabs and this one tab activates outlines for all objects uh, in our project that uh, don't have a specific sketch ta uh, tag because we can apply this material to our object for example this one and it's uh, the first place of uh, sketch and tune settings this one tag. This tag controls how looks lines on our objects. And the last, the fourth, create a new one material, the standard material, open it and go to luminance channel and activate one 
of sketch materials, art, cell, edge and spots. These shaders are, we can say that they are standard Cinema 4D shaders, they are not uh, so specific I think, but they are, they are used uh, in Luminance Channel in 90 and 90 uh, presence and we will use uh, we'll use them in this channel as well. Okay, we can add the cell shader for example. Go to the settings of this shader and activate lights and speculars and shadows and we can apply apply material to our object and render it works. Okay. Perfect. We now where we can find uh, all settings of sketch into model juice we can go to the second part and start uh, with our hard work.